Hello, math buddies. Today, we're going to learn about distinguishable permutation. I am Chordons and welcome to Math TV. Let us first define it. Distinguishable permutation refers to the permutation of a set of objects where some of them are alike. The number of permutation of n objects where p are alike, q are alike, r are alike, and so on is equal to n factorial divided by p factorial times q factorial times r factorial and so on. Where p is the total number of permutation, n is the total number of objects in the set, and pqr is the total number of alike or repeated objects. Let's have an example. Example number one, how many distinct permutations can be made from the letters of the word address? Our formula is equal to n factorial divided by p factorial times q factorial times r factorial and so on. The word address has seven letters. The value of n is seven. Let us count the letters to find out how many repeated letters we have. 1a, 2d, 1r, 1e, 2s. 2d is equal to p and 2s is your q. Substituting it, we have 7 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Simplifying it, we have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. Cancel 2 and 1. 4 and 2 share a common factor of 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. We left with... 7 times 6 times 5 times 2 times 3, which will give us 1,260. Divided by 1, it is equal to 1,260. Therefore, there are 1,260 different permutations. Example number 2. How many ways can the letter of the word committee be arranged? Our formula is equal to n factorial divided by p factorial times q factorial times r factorial and so on. The word committee has 9 letters. The value of n is 9. Let us count the letters to find out how many repeated letters we have. 1c, 1o, 2m, 1i, 2t, 2e. 2m is your p, so p is equal to 2. 2t is your q, so q is equal to 2. 2e is your r, so r is equal to 2. Now, plug in the value we have 9 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Simplifying it, we have 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. Cancel 2 and 1. 4 and 2 share a common factor of 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Then we can cancel 2 and 2. We left with 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 3, which will give us 45,360. Divided by 1 equals 45,360. Therefore, there are 45,360 ways. Example number 3. In how many ways can 4 blue balls, 3 pink balls, and 2 white balls be arranged in a row? Our formula is equal to n factorial divided by p factorial times q factorial times r factorial and so on. We have 4 blue balls, that is your p, 3 pink balls, that is your q, and 2 white balls, that is your r. Total number of balls is equal to 9. Our n is 9. Substituting the value, we have 9 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Simplifying it, we have 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 4 factorial times 3 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. Cancel out 4 factorial. 6 and 2 share a common factor of 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2 divided by 2 is 1, then cancel out 3. 8 and 2 share a common factor of 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 
we left with 9 times 4 times 7 times 5, which will give us 1,260. Divided by 1, it is equal to 1,260. Therefore, there are 1,260 ways to arrange the balls in a row. I hope you enjoy our discussion for today. See you again for our next lesson. Thank you, have a nice day, and God bless everyone!